So tomorrow we're going on the bike trip and it's going to be about a six day bike trip which is pretty exciting. The bikes have got the bags on now, we're just busy putting the clothing and everything in. We've got a front bag on here which came with a motorbike, we took cable tied it on with some ropes. We bought the bag up on the back which is pretty cool and that's going to be about it. Camel bag on the back and yeah looking forward, it's going to be pretty crazy, five or six days of mountain bike riding. Uh, first time doing actually a bike packing trip. Mm -hmm. I think Rachel too. Never done it before. It was the most amount of riding I've ever done in my life on a mountain bike in one week. <laughs> Probably, but will be fun. We're doing a loop of Grayton. It looks like it's going to rain as well on the weekend, which is going to be very muddy. So it's going to be pretty crazy. We're still figuring out the bag scenario. You got, you got some more toys now to go on the bike? And then... And the wedding is still on, so, well, barring if the duchies can get here, because that's quite important. You can't have a wedding without... My family. That would be a problem. You need both families at a wedding. It's quite crucial. So we're just taking the bare minimum this time. Literally one set of cycle kits, pair of long pants, long sleeve, all the tools and heavy stuff going up on in the back bag, which is about a six, seven liter. We've got about 10 liters, eight to 10 liters odd in the front as well. <laughs> and so we're all packed, heading off for the first day. It is quite windy. Bicycles weigh absolute ton, but it's gonna be some good fun. Going out to Franchuk today. And yeah, let's see how it goes. Okay, so we're good to go. Rachel gets the route on the Garmin. And then we head out the complex. Feels good. Yep. Oh, you want them tighter? Look how your ticket when you sit on it, it's like literally one cent. It looks like that's slipping. So it's a second stop already, and we've done about three k's. And hopefully we're going to be all right. The bags are starting to climb off the bikes a bit. Just over halfway, and yeah, 40 k is good. Looks like there's some clouds over there. Mud rain, who knows? Probably not. So we've just arrived, <coughs> what is it, almost 70 k's, three and a half hours or three hours 25. It's opening. And the gate is opening. It looks quite fancy. And it looks fancy. First ones to come on a bike. Hello. Hello. Surprise, no car. Surprise, no car. <laughs> I used to stay at home, I used to be alone, no one knew my name. Well, yeah. Awesome. Hey, come for the first night. Pretty nice in the Franzouk Airbnb. Like to thank the Olympics for giving us Airbnb vouchers paid for by the Olympics. Ew. And so we just got into French hook. I'm just trying to think now. Where are we? French hook. Time to go and grab some 
lunch and a pretty good ride. It was nice. Rachel managed to pull me the first part of the ride because I was struggling a little bit. But then the other one. But then at the end, I was in the front apparently. I can't, I don't know if that's correct or not. But apparently, apparently. Riding done, it was pretty fun just from Durbanville to Franschhoek here. The no, shortest ride, the flattest ride. Shortest, flattest. <laughs> coolest. Coolest, we had a tailwind, so it was yeah. all in all pretty good so far. We didn't get attacked by anyone. We, there were two people walking that looked sketchy, but we were good. Rachel has a mace with her on her bike in and case. And a smile. smile and she smiles and waves, that's very important <laughs> South Africa, smile and wave. When you're scared, or <laughs> everyone always. is your big friend. Yeah, no, tomorrow is gonna be a big day. I looked at the routes you uh, you made. Tomorrow is gonna be the biggest day. Is it the biggest day, or at least the day with the most climbing? I think it's one of the days with the most climbing tomorrow, and and uh, one of the biggest days this is. It's gonna be like 95 k's. So tomorrow we're going from Franschhoek here over Franschhoek Pass, and we go to Grayton. Whether we get there or not, who knows. <laughs> so apparently this is part of the route. <laughs> Lunch time, kind of, I'm not sure what time it is. Mm -hmm. Beautiful design. Sponsored by Woolworths mm -hmm. with no added. So we made it to Grayton. Rachel pulled me the last, I don't know, a long time. No, but you were in front on some pass as well. You're stronger than us. I'm just poker facing no, it. I'm pretty broken. <laughs> it's alright, it was definitely more tough than yesterday. Oh, man. It's beautiful here. Time for some food. This place is beautiful. So here's our little room for the night. It's so cute. It's so cute. The Lady Grace, all the amenities here.
so we're back from today's ride it was pretty crazy quite long we did like almost 90 kilometers and i got back and rachel pulled me back the last little bit but yeah it was like ups and downs but you also did turns which kind of surprised me you're fitter than i thought <laughs> or you're just like crashing now That's i think i'm possible. i'm crash I, I think i survive <laughs> until about like 70 k's and then the last 20 k's was just like yeah that nah, was good. It was, it was long. And we had a lot of headwind. It was a lot of it. Yeah, we, we rode southeast the whole time and the wind was blowing from the southeast. So That's fine. We rode into a headwind for pretty much the whole way. Mm. And tomorrow, I'm not sure what we're going to do yet. We've still got to figure it out. Uh, we might stay in Grayton or we might continue, but we've got to book accommodation the next hour or so for tomorrow. We do rough paper scissors. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> Okay, so we are Wednesday morning and it looks like we're going riding today. I didn't think we were going to go riding, but we're going to go and see how it goes and take it as it comes. To McGregor. Off to McGregor, <laughs> perhaps if I manage to survive to get there. Yeah, we'll but start we have a look. easy. We'll start easier than the other days. That's true. Starting with a good and we'll breakfast. A proper, and we'll have a proper lunch on the way. And a big breakfast, yes. Big lunch. So we're on day three and we've got a long ride today to do today to do today something like that uh -oh, already 100 odd k's maybe we'll see if we survive no idea to have a bit of a hitch here. What do you reckon, right? About a third, a third of the way there. Lunchtime in 20 k's or so. Okay, Reg. You first. This looks quite. Well, I would say go right. Go right. almost 100 kilometers so that's the ride done we are here in McGregor <laughs> and I didn't honestly think we'd make it quite surprising actually oh, it was good fun on the downhills I had an edge on Rachel because of the weight <laughs> Today, but on the so uphill she didn't so on the uphill she destroyed that me. was kind of weighing each other up now we're just waiting for our Airbnb. Apparently went to the doctors today, so now we're waiting for her to come back. Hopefully That's she's okay. okay. It clearly sat between two and four, and we can make four. So that's what you get. Got to wait a little bit. Sometimes you hey, gotta got to wait. It. This is Supermall. The lifter. 
Exactly. Like, why would I have a need to see a phone? No. That's brilliant. Is it? Um, Good morning, good morning. That was quite an entertaining morning so far. Almost uh, lost my drone, sent it out over the mountains and got lost. And Rob and I had to chase it with a motorbike, which was quite fun. And today we're going to ride up the mountain pass here towards Heaven's View, something like that. Heaven's View. Hello to the top and now we have this wonderfully prepared breakfast at the Airbnb so good. pretty stoked about that <laughs> so we're on day four now and we're climbing up a massive mountain about 1400 meters of gain near the top I think we're going straight here So we're about halfway ish up the pass and it is and it's beautiful our helmets are off in case you're wondering because there's no cars here it's very very quiet it's only up your so safety first but it's warm so and you know when you get onto the tar then you know it gets serious <laughs> So it's three quarters way up the Kalimberg climb and we are into, into the clouds. Check at this. Yeah. So beautiful. So we're at the top of the pass. And the views are amazing. And there is no view at all. Like it's just clouds. But we made it. 1300 meters up. I think one of the highest tar roads in South Africa, well in the Western Cape. We're gonna to have to double check it on Google. So the last part of the trip, let's head through to, to Robertson. So we made it to the town of Robertson and it's overcast and we've got to find an Airbnb. Luckily, there's only about six roads in the city, so. So that was today done. It was a pretty solid climb this morning up uh, the mast to Kallen, Kallenberg, Kallenberg, something like that. It was a massive climb, it was some good fun. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how it went today with like 65 Ks and two more days of riding left, which is pretty cool. We're now staying in Robertson. We got through and the legs aren't as smashed as they were yesterday. It says Richard doesn't agree with, well, I don't agree with him. <laughs> yeah, I think you were, were really strong today. I thought you were gonna be a little bit more weak. But then it was actually my turn to be weak today, so 
that happened. So. Um, oh well. It but was it was awesome. it was great fun, and uh, now we're at the small little Airbnb in Robertson, and tomorrow we go to Villiersdorp. And another morning. 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 <laughs> Ooh, it smells good. Okay, so two more days left on these bad boys. Pack them up and head to Villiersdorp. That was a pretty uh, restless night last night, but 100Ks today, no time to play around. Let's head to Villiersdorp, seeing the parents halfway for some lunch, that's gonna be awesome. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you so much for the stay, it was wonderful. Bye bye, doggy. Another big day in the saddle today, going up these mountain passes. So we had the parents come visit us on the tour. The bush. In the bush. <laughs> Brought some food so we can survive the last 50 odd k's and we might jump in there for a swim. Ooh. We made it to another destination. Villiersdorf, second last stop, 95Ks or something, and we made it and I'm kind of smashed now. And Rachel was a boss. Look at Rachel, she's like fresh. What? Another beautiful Airbnb. Hello, Richard. How was your ride today? <laughs> cool, and that's today's ride done. Another almost 100 kilometers, 95 odd k's with 900 meters of climbing. Did you have a good day, Rach? Yeah, and we have spectators today. We, we have some spectators today. Uh, we're supervisors. We just check and make sure they do it all right. The supervisors came in to help us out with some lunch today. It was the first time we had lunch on the road properly, which was quite no second time. And I finally got to jump into some water mid-ride. 
It was nice. Tomorrow is the last day. We're heading back to Durbanville, and it's been a pretty wild ride, but some pretty good fun. And I'm, impre- I'm impressed we actually managed to do it all because I was going to take a day off. But. And we didn't take any days off. Oh, who's the boss? So it's the final day here and we've got 100 k's odd back to Durbanville. Headwind. Headwind pretty much most of the way. So I won't, I won't find it tiring in the car, it'll be fun. Yeah. yeah we've got aircon. They've got air conditioner, we've got, we've got uh, natural air conditioning today. And uh, they're taking all our luggage so we get to ride the bikes without any bags. Lazy riders. Which is lazy, I think we're cheating. I think this is cheating, but... You know. we're, we're adding the headwind. They deserve it. Correct, we get the headwind. bags with the tailwind and no bags with the headwind. <laughs> Going lightweight today. Lightweight. Halfway there, time for some lunch. Yo! So we're nearing the end of the trip, last uh, 10k or so, back to Durbanville, and it has been pretty epic. <laughs> So there we go, we are like about 5k's from home and I get a solid nail in the tyre. Let me quickly change this before I lose pressure. Great! <laughs> so luckily the nail sealed up pretty easily, so far so good. Last 5k is back to Dumbo. And just like that, we're back at home. Phew! Epic bike trip. Thank you for watching. That was wild. Now it's time to take some rest. I'm not riding on Sunday. It's not happening. My bottom rest. My bottom is so sore. <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe and all that other jazz. And let us know if we stick to, shoot, stick to trial them or. And let us know if you enjoyed this video or if you thought it was absolute rubbish. We'll never make another one. <laughs>